Well, tonight we also want to talk about an impact of this storm you may not really know about. Yeah, this right here looks gross, huh? You're looking at a big pile of trash and debris just floating in the middle of the Potomac. I'm so sorry if you're eating dinner right now. By the way, this was all caused by storm runoff, and it's a perfect example of something we talk about often. The weather's impact on our environment. Our John Duran is following this story for us tonight. He's live near the waterfront, and John, you talked to an expert about how this happens and why climate change may be making this worse. What are they saying? I did, Lorenzo, and that expert told me uh, after the past couple of hot, dry summer months we experienced, that heavy rainfall we saw over the past day or so, it's not getting absorbed by the soil, but it's just rolling over it and picking up anything in its path, and you get what you see behind me. Sticks, even tree stumps, some bushes, and a whole lot of plastic stuck in this debris mound on the Potomac River. Trey Sherrard is the Anacostia Riverkeeper. He tells me DC has a small fleet of boats that will remove trash and debris from the rivers five times a week, but they're not normally dealing with something the size of this debris heap. Sherrard believes today's weather likely kept those boats out of the water. He also says climate change and a change in the pattern of summer storms could lead to more runoff like this landing in DMV rivers more often in the future. We're going to get the same amount of rain a year, but we're going to get it in fewer but much larger storms. And that's a problem um, because that's not the kind of pattern that we were building stuff to deal with these problems against. I never realized it was going to be all this trash and like it's, it's the animals, you know, birds, all the stuff in there and they're getting an, into it. They probably ki get killed, you know. Yeah. Stuff like that. Well, let's take care of the community. Sherrard says 60% of the trash they collect from the river is plastic bottles. He also says uh, debris mounds like this are going to move with the tide. So if it isn't cleaned up, this uh, debris trash mound is going to make landfall somewhere, Lorenzo. Yeah, and it's really tough to look at. I feel like it's been sitting there behind you at the Kennedy Center for, for quite a while now, not moving anywhere. We know you're going to keep tracking it as it disperses or eventually gets cleaned up. John, thank you.